What up y'all, gonna be showing you how to play Blue Protocol Star Resonance on your Mac. Quick thing to know, this is only gonna work on Apple Silicon Macs, meaning any Mac with the M series chip in it. If you have an Intel Mac, you could Google or YouTube how to use Boot Camp, and then assuming your Mac is powerful enough, you could download the native Windows version of the game or try to run the game through a Windows Android emulator. Now I'm gonna be showing you two methods. One is through Play Cover, which is gonna let us run the mobile iOS version of the game, and the other is going to be with Crossover, which will let you run the PC version of the game. One thing to note with crossover for the PC version, there's currently a texture bug where it makes the, your character's face black. So if you are interested, I'm going to leave the tutorial of how to get the game running through crossover. Just check the description or pinned comment. If there's ever an update on how to fix this, I will update it there. So you can skip to the timestamps of whatever you're interested in. Now before we get into it, as Mac gamers, we already have to deal with workarounds and third party apps just to play games like everyone else. So I wanted to put you onto a tool that's free to use forever and makes the whole experience safer, Proton VPN. It's based in Switzerland with strict privacy laws, completely ad-free, and even their free plan has no speed or data caps. But the real value is in VPN Plus, with full access to thousands of servers, streaming unlocks, and secure core security. You can try it with my link in the description and support the channel at the same time. Alright, so first up is going to be Play Cover. One one thing to note for Play Cover, if you're on the latest Mac OS Tahoe, currently as of time of recording, Play Cover is having some issues with the key mapping, which we will be using in this video for mouse and keyboard and controller. Play Cover has said they are working on it, but if the patch isn't out yet by the time you're watching this video, you might have to downgrade your operating system back to Sequoia. Alright, so we're going to go to playcover.io, I'll leave everything in the description. In the upper right, click download, click latest, and hit allow. Go to our downloads folder and double click the DMG. Drag Play Cover to our applications and then in our applications find and double click Play Cover. Hit open. Now we need to go get the IPA file for the game. So we're going to go to decrypt.day. Again I'll leave it in the description and type in the game. Click it. On the right hand side click download for free. Now if it lets you hit download click it. However, if it's telling you for some reason that you're using an ad blocker, but you know you're not, I'll leave a video in the description on a way to get by this. And if for some reason that method doesn't work, check the pinned comment because there's another method. But if it lets you hit download, click it, click get download link, download, and it might just start downloading. You might have to click allow or it might open up a new tab. You might have to go back to the previous tab and hit allow there. It just kind of depends on what mood it's in. Once that's finished downloading, click and drag the IPA file into play cover. It's going to extract. Once the game is downloaded, a couple things to go over. First is how to update the game. Not 100% sure how it's going to work for this game, but typically with games on Play Cover, whenever there is a major version update, so version 1.1, 1.2, 2.0, etc., you can't update the game in the game itself. We have to go back to decrypt.day, and then usually depending on how popular the game is, the decrypted version will be out a couple hours or a day after its release. So you'll go to decrypt.day, type in the game, and on the right side here you'll see the version number. You'll have to download that that new version and once you have the IPA file for that version you just click and drag it into play cover and that will update the game and if you ever want to delete the game it's not as simple as right clicking and uninstalling the app the data for the game is actually in a separate folder on your computer I'll leave a link on how to fully delete the game in the description if you're ever interested in that and finally to get in the game we will double click once we're in the game, it's going to make you agree to their license agreement and privacy policy, and then we will have to confirm for a update. That's going to download, and I'll be back when that's finished. Once that's finished downloading, you'll be brought to the login page. One thing to note is typically Apple sign-in does not work with Play Cover. Yep, as you can see, login failed. So it looks like you can do Crunchyroll or whatever their own website's login is that I guess you can register right here for. I'm just going to do guest. Then we can click start. It's going to run you through the character creation then you can pick your class, hit confirm, and then it will run you through a cutscene. And after this is over, I'll show you how to play with mouse and keyboard and controller. It's going to ask you to pick a graphics quality preset. Now we're here. For mouse and keyboard and controller, we're going to have to either make a play map or import the one that I created. Technically, you can kind of play with mouse and keyboard off rip. I'm pressing WASD right now. It's a little janky and not all the buttons work and there's delay with the buttons. So so exit out the game 
and click the link in the description and it's going to bring you to my Kofi page where you can download the controller or the mouse and keyboard play map. It's free, it just needs an email, and if you're feeling generous you could throw a buck or two, it's always appreciated, but no pressure. So once you have it downloaded, go to play cover and right click the game and hit import key mapping. Then go to wherever you downloaded the play maps and click whichever one you downloaded. Hit open, it'll say key mapping imported, and now we can go back into the game. Once we're back in the game, we are going to go up to the top and hit key mapping and then hit open key map editor. This is gonna look slightly different for the controller, but the process of changing it is the exact same. So these are the binds I laid out. I don't use mouse and keyboard. I'm a controller player, so I don't know if these are good or not. If you ever wanna change anything, all you gotta do is click. Then when you see that's highlighted red, click a button on your controller or keyboard and that will change it to that key. If you wanna add a new button, you can press an empty spot, click the top option, and then same thing, press any key that you want. You can drag it. If you want to delete it, you can go up top, key mapping, delete selected element. And when we're done, we can either go up top and hit key mapping and close key map editor or press command and K. Once you've done that, you will notice that the mouse is gone. That is because it's being used to look around. To get your mouse back, all you have to do is press the option button on your keyboard and it will be back. Press the option button again for it to disappear so you can look around. And from here, you're pretty much good to go. Like I said, same exact process on controller. I just deleted some of the buttons on that play map because the controller doesn't have as many options. And yeah, that's about it for play cover. All right, next up is crossover, which will let us run the Windows PC version of the game. So you can click the link in in the description it's going to bring you to this page it is my affiliate link i always recommend doing the two week free trial first just to make sure it runs good on your specific mac but if you use that link and, and buy crossover it does support me in the channel so thank you in advance if you do one thing i do want to clear up real quick though with crossover is you see it says 12 month support that doesn't mean you lose access to crossover after 12 months what it means is you get the current version of crossover plus 12 months of updates forever so if you bought it today you would get whatever version of crossover is out now and then in a year from now whatever version of crossover is out you will have that version of crossover forever it's just if you wanted future updates after that then you would have to pay for it again but they always offer special renewal prices and sales so odds are you would never pay the full $74 again but with all that being said let's get on with it so on the left side click try now for the 14 day free trial it's gonna ask for your name and email and then you can click download trial now it's it's either going to just give you crossover itself or a zip file. If it gives you the zip file, just double click it and then we can drag crossover to our applications. And then in our applications, find and double click crossover. It's probably gonna tell you that this is a two week free trial. And then when you're in, it will bring you to this screen. If you don't see anything, you're probably on the home. So go to the bottom left and click install. Then we can either scroll down to Steam or in the search bar type in Steam. Click it, click install. You'll get this pop-up that you gotta agree to. Make sure you hit close, otherwise it won't continue. You'll get another pop-up and one more pop-up. And then we will be brought to the Steam setup. Hit next, pick your language. You can change the install location if you'd like. I just leave it where it is and then hit finish. Steam will update and once it's finished updating give it a minute and the Steam login will pop up. Here you can log in or if you don't have a Steam account you can go to the bottom right and click create a free account. Once we're in we can go to the search bar and type in the game, click it, scroll down and you can hit play game it'll ask you to download if you want to see the game as an option as soon as you open up crossover you can leave these checked or if you don't then you can uncheck them hit install it's going to make you accept their eula and if we click down here, it'll show us the download progress. It hasn't happened to me in a while, but if for some reason this flatlines and it stops downloading, you can just basically exit out of Steam and crossover and start again. To do that, you can click quit all applications. And if it doesn't exit, then you can click force quit. It'll pop up right here and then just go back into Steam and continue downloading it. So that's going to download and I'll be back when that's finished. Once it's finished downloading, click your library. Then you can click the green button on the game. It's gonna bring you to the start screen, click it. It's gonna bring you to the character creator in a cutscene. And as I said before, we have the texture bug, but once you're actually in the game, switching between 
controller and mouse and keyboard is actually very seamless. You don't even press anything, you just start moving the controller and it will move and then move your mouse or tap a key on the keyboard to move that. Like I said, if or when there is a fix for the texture bug, I will update that either in the pinned comment or description, so be on the lookout for that. Also, last thing real quick, I don't know why, but if I pair my controller after I've already opened Crossover or the game, the aiming and everything is really wonky. So just to err on the safe side, pair your controller before you open Crossover and Steam, and then you should have no problems. If this helped you, give it a like, and subscribe for more Mac gaming news and tutorials. And that's about it. See ya.